Hi guys, welcome back. It's Aishia again. Um, it's been a while f since I've done a favourites. Um, the last one I did was December and that was the my top two 13 of 2013. So I haven't done a December one or a January one. I've just been extremely busy. Um, so I thought I'd come on and do a February one. I did originally think about, because I do actually write what's my favourite for each month and adding the December and January ones there and I thought you know what they'll come up again and I'll just do February for you and what I've really been enjoying in February. For those of you who um, just recently um, what's the word subscribe to my channel I'm the type of person that I don't buy a huge amount of stuff I know I do a lot of hauls but I don't buy a huge amount of stuff so a lot of time with my favorites it's not all about what I've purchased for that month it's more about what I've really been enjoying and sometimes I might show you discontinued products or limited edition products and that's not about saying yeah 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 I've got it it's more about if you've got it maybe you should um, take it out of your collection again and start using it maybe you'll enjoy it too so for February February has been a funny old month because of the weather so I, even though I wear makeup every day at least six days out of seven I wear makeup um, to say that I'm really enjoying it and really calling something a favorite I found that difficult with February especially um, January was so stinking hot and so was the beginning of February and you know I was doing it for the sake of putting on makeup rather than really enjoying the products that I was using so I don't have many favorites even though I've talked too much already um, but I've been really enjoying lip products this month so that's what I'm going to show you because January was all about oh I have to wear lip gloss because I don't want to melt any lipsticks but this month I've been um, really enjoying some of the um, lip products I've so been I'm not going to do these in any particular order and there aren't many at all trust me there aren't because I can see them there and there's not many at all okay the first one I've been loving is my Essence XXL, XXXL Shine Lip Gloss in just, number 24 just gorgeous that's the color there it's a true I would consider this a true coral I love essence lip glosses if you're not familiar essence is a I think a German brand and they're cruelty free and they're drugstore and they're cheap so you can buy essence from um, in Melbourne anyway well, in Mal Australia anyway from Target and also a lot of the price lines, but that's a color there. It's just stunning. I've been really enjoying that color. Also in nail polish as well. It's just been beautiful. Feels lovely on the lips. Yeah, you have to reapply, but who cares? I mean, these are less than five dollars, I think, and I absolutely love them. They have a, they do have a scent if you're sensitive to it. It's like a fruity scent, but absolutely loving it loving, the next product that it. I've been enjoying is the Garnier Perfect Blur 5 Second Smoothing Base Primer I actually did a review on it so I won't talk too much about it but this month what I found is I you know again I use it under powder foundations like the Illamasqua one or my Jane Iredale powder foundation I've used it under the Estee Lauder Double Wear and I've used it under um, the Burberry Velvet Foundation and, and it still performed quite well underneath it didn't ball up or anything like that I love how smooth it makes my cheeks especially look because that's where the biggest pores are it's not the biggest the best thing for my t-zone but ne neither is it bad in any way um, absolutely loving it you can pick it up for less than ten dollars when, it, when it's on special again Priceline is probably the best place to pick this one up love it and really in the words of Molly Meldrum, do yourself a favor and pick one up and see how you like it. Another lip product I've been loving is my lipstick from Urban Decay. I picked this up from Beauty Bay or did I pick it up from HQ Hair? Either way, do your homework. They're both UK sites. Um, just check the prices. They both offer free delivery. Um, check the prices and see which just ones, check which ones um, are, uh, is a better value for you on the day. In the US, you can pick it up from Sephora. In the um, UK, you can pick it up from Debenhams, all that sort of stuff. Um, but this color is in Naked. I picked this color up um, because Lauren from Redhead PhD had it on her lips during a haul and her lips looked just scrumptious, scrumptious I should say now this is the color there when I put this on my lips it actually is lighter than my lip color um, so it's almost like a nude color for me um, I just but I absolutely absolutely love the formulation of this one and that's why I've been enjoying it and as you can see I've used quite a bit of it um, love it love it 
I do want to explore some of the other um, colours in this one range, but I do see that they've got one called 69 and obviously I'm going to have to buy that one first. I don't even know what the colour is. Um, but um, I'll definitely be checking out more of these ones in the next coming months to see. But I just want to go through some of my other lip collections before I... Um, my lip collection before I do that because I do want some colors but I don't want to get one that I've already got 10 shades of if you know what if you know what I mean but so that's the Urban Decay Revolution you know how I say stick. sometimes I will show discontinued products just in case you've got it this is actually in oh I should say show it the correct way this is my Rimmel London blush in 004 pink rose so that's it there I don't know why I do that because I usually write it down here anyway what it is. So this is Pink Rose. This is actually my project pan. One I want to show you because I want to show you how much pan form there is. But I actually have been really loving this one and basically almost use, use this one almost every day. Um, well not almost every day because that would, life would be boring but I am absolutely loving this shade. So if you guys have got this you really really do need to check it out. I'll just do a bit more so you can see it. And I'm actually, so that's the shade that just gives a beautiful flush to your cheeks. It does have some shimmer in there, but I am absolutely loving that shade. And I just love how it looks on my cheeks. The reason why I put it in my project pan is even though I, I've always loved this um, shade, I just, once I hit pan, they break easily and I didn't want to have to um, baby it. So even though I love it, oh well, if it goes. But um, so if you've got this in your collection, do check it out. The next product that I've got in my favourites is my MAC Luster, Luster Glass in Spring Bean. Now some of you will already know what I'm going to put up, but otherwise some of you might be like freak out. Yes, I love it because it's chartreuse, but can I tell you, and over a pink lipstick or a red lipstick, this looks fabulous and that's why I bought it. Yes, I have anything for... Um, chartreuse lipsticks but it doesn't actually look like that when you put it on your lips and I'm going to put a really thick swatch so you can see it so you can see the color there and what I'll do is I actually don't put this directly from my um from the jar because I don't want the color to um change So there you go guys, I've just put that on my lips. So as you can see, it doesn't really change the colour. Your lips aren't going to look green is what I'm telling you. But because of that slight tint, it actually changes the colour of your lipsticks. So I find this good one for um, any sort of lipstick that just doesn't really work for me and um, to see if this helps. And if this helps, then obviously it stays in my collection. So I absolutely this love it. This colour is still in their regular collection. It's not a, a limited edition at all. So I do recommend this one. Yes, it does have a scent. It's got that um, vanilla scent that they always have. But um, I love the formulation on the Luster Glasses. I actually really do enjoy them and I like the look of them on my lips. Um, so I do recommend this one. So that's all my makeup favourites. And I just quickly want to show you, tell you some of my non-makeup favourites. Um, the app of the month has to be Goodreads. I love that app. Just start it. I'll put my link below so we can become friends on Goodreads if you love books. You put in your details. You put in some of the books that you love or the genres that you love and it starts recommending books to you. It'll recommend books depending on what you've read. I mean, I haven't obviously haven't put everything that I've read on there, but it's really good. And it's like sometimes it'll say, I think you'll like this one. It's like, I've already read it. Read it, read it, read it. It's really cool. I'm really, really enjoying it. And um, so I do recommend that if you enjoy books, to um, download that app. You can also join um, through your computer as well. So you don't have to have a smartphone. Um, so going on from that, I just want to talk about a few books that I've re um, recently read. I do love reading books. I don't have much time to read books anymore. Um, also, I can't really read at night because I take out my contacts and my glasses aren't the best for reading. Unfortunately, I've just got a weird... Um, prescription kind of eyesight type thing so I do a lot of my reading on the train so I don't go I'm not a I don't go through as many books as I would love to so the first book I've been loving is called one one day by David Nichols I think it is um, it's basically the story of two people and they only to um and it tells their life for the span of I think was it 20 years but it shows you one day of their life for the 20 years 
really enjoyed it. I think it's the type of book that either people are going to love or hate. If you've read the book, I mean, I can't really talk about it any more than that because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. And if you haven't read the book and you want to read the book, don't watch the movie. I haven't even watched the movie yet, but don't watch the movie because it really will spoil it for you. Um, the next book, and I've got the other books um, at hand. The next book is by Diana Gabaldon, and it's the first book in the um, Outlander series. This one is called Outlander, but if you live in Australia or some other countries, it's actually called Cross Stitch. Now, I avoided this book for years. It kept on being in the top 100 voted by from different bookstores, and I've gone, no, I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to read it. Even though the book was called Cross Stitch, I just thought, no, this is not the book for me. It sounds like a really harlequin romance type things and trust me i've read plenty of them in my lifetime um i'm not going to read it and then esri blue who um used to do videos um posted this on her instagram and i thought i have to get it so i ordered it got it and then i found out this is actually the book cross stitch by another name um it, yeah it's really weird i'm obsessed with cross stitch so i would have thought that if i I would buy a book that's called Cross Stitch too, but anyway, really enjoyed it. It's about, well, it's, it's kind of like time travel, but not. She travels back in time, but she's basically staying there. There's quite a few books in the series. Um, you do have to suspend your belief for some of it, you know. She's married, goes back in time, gets married again. Uh, father, am I cheating? No, you're not, because technically the other guy's not alive yet. And it's like... Yeah, she's still cheating. Um, that sort of stuff. But absolutely loved it and can't wait to read the rest of the series of this one. And apparently they've made it into a TV series as well. A lot of people have um, obsessed with um, the character James Fraser and wondering who's going to play him on the TV series. But really, really enjoying this. Well, really enjoyed this one and I've ordered the second one too. I haven't got into ebooks yet, and but I really need to start getting used to reading ebooks and see if I enjoy them because I know then I can change the typeface. Um, but I did order a hard copy of this one as well for the second one, which is called Dragonfly in Amber. And the last book is that I've been enjoying is um, a book by Catherine Stockett. It's called um, The Help. You, some, some of you may have watched the movie. Now, since finishing this book, I've actually watched the movie and they are different. Um, the the storylines that you get in here, the um, female um, friendships that you get in here, the, the things that um, people went through being help in Mississippi. Just beautiful and um, just a stunning book. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. Loved all the main characters um, in here and, and could, um, yeah, just absolutely loved it. That's all I can say. And I've since, yeah, like I said, I've watched the movie since I finished it and the book is a thousand times better. That's it, guys. That's all my favourites. I know it's very quick in my eyes anyway. There weren't many favourites, but I generally just want to show you things that I've really been enjoying and would encourage you to check in your makeup collection to see if you've got them or the next time you're out shopping, maybe consider some of those items. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the beautiful comments that I've been receiving lately. You know, you guys rock. I really do enjoy doing some of these videos on YouTube and I hope to see you very soon. So take care. Ciao.